try these questions from one CXC CSEC multiple choice mathematics examination. Remember, calculators are not allowed in this exam. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and resume when you have an answer for each question. Okay, let's go. Question 40. The median is the middle value of a set of ascending or descending observations. These values are arranged in ascending order. When there's an even number of observations, the median is the mean of the middle two terms. There are 10 observations. The middle two terms are 6 and 7. The average of 6 and 7 is 6 added to 7 divided by 2. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. 13 divided by 2 is equal to 6 and a half. 6.5. The answer is C. Question 41. Total probability is equal to 1. The probability of a favorable outcome added to the probability of an unfavorable outcome is equal to 1. It follows that the probability of a favorable outcome is equal to 1 minus the probability of an unfavorable outcome. Thus, the probability of passing the exam is equal to 1 minus the probability of failing. We are given that the probability of a randomly selected student failing the exam is one-fifth. So the probability that a randomly selected student will pass the exam is equal to 1 minus one-fifth. Of course, 1 is the same as 5 over 5. So we have 5 over 5 minus 1 over 5. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 4 over 5. So the probability of a randomly selected student passing the exam is 4 fifth. Now we know that the probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. Therefore, the probability of passing the exam is equal to the number of students expected to pass over the total number of students. That is, 4 fifths is equal to the number of students expected to pass. Over the total number of students, 600. Multiplying by 600 leaves the number of students expected to pass alone on the right hand side. Cancelling 5 into 5, 1. 5 into 600, 5 into 6, 1, with 1 remaining, 5 into 10, 2, 5 into 0, 0. So, 120. 4 multiplied by 120 is equal to 480. The number of students expected to pass is equal to 480. The answer is B. Question 42. The n numbers of a class are called the class limits. Thus, the class limits are 10, 14, 15, 19, etc. The answer is D. Question 44. The probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. We are asked about the probability of drawing a letter C. Each of the letters of the word chance is written on a slip of paper and placed in a bag and thoroughly shaken. We're gonna pull one of these letters randomly. A favorable outcome is drawing a C. There are two Cs. So there are two possibilities of drawing a C. The total number of possibilities is the number of letters in chance, which is equal to six. Thus, the probability of drawing a C is equal to two over 6. 2 over 6 can be reduced further. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 6, 3. The answer is 1 third. The answer is C. I am Mr. Dubey. Post a comment.
Let me know how you are managing. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.